It's day 30 of the longest government shutdown in U.S. history. Federal employees say they're desperate for work and their wages. It's terrible that the government is holding employees hostage and uh, it needs to end. It just needs to end. We're all suffering. Businesses are suffering. It has a trickle-down effect. Some people are wondering how they're going to pay their mortgage next month, their rents, their utilities, groceries, just everyday things we take for granted. President Donald Trump is proposing an offer to end the impasse. $800 million in urgent humanitarian assistance. $805 million for drug detection technology to help secure our ports of entry. An additional 2,750 border agents and law enforcement professionals. 75 new immigration judge teams to reduce the court backlog. But there's one thing Trump won't compromise on. Walls are not immoral. In fact, they are the opposite of immoral because they will save many lives and stop drugs from pouring into our country. Trump still wants full funding for his $5.7 billion border wall. In exchange, he offered temporary protection for young undocumented minors who were brought to the U.S. as children. He also has a plan to protect those minors who are currently trying to enter. This includes a new system to allow Central American minors to apply for asylum in their home countries and reform to promote family reunification for unaccompanied children, thousands of whom wind up on our border doorstep. Key Democrats have already shut down Trump's offer, saying it isn't really a compromise, with Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi calling it unacceptable. Pelosi further criticized the president for not being sympathetic to the 800,000 federal workers affected by the shutdown. It's a month now. Can you live a month without getting money coming in the door? Probably not. It's terrible. Experts say the shutdown is not about money, but a showdown in Capitol Hill. And it's these workers who are paying the price. Liz Maddock, TRT World.